So then we know that it's important to have a value alignment between the employees and the employers or between the job seekers and potential employees. So in terms of that, uh, how much value alignment should be? Is it 100%, 80%? If a job seeker is reading a job ad and sees that these are the values, but I only have four out of the five, should that apply or not? Mm. I'm, I'm a big believer in actually, you need to get your hiring right. Mm -hmm. And what companies should be looking for is people who can contribute to the culture, mm -hmm. not necessarily who fit the culture. Yes. So in my opinion, you don't want people who look the same, talk the yeah. same and have the same hobbies and beliefs. Yes. You know, we're, we're not going to work in order to have uh, chats about football teams every single day and, and do beers with the same type of people. Mm -hmm. that's, that's your friendship group, perhaps. Yeah. But what you do need is you need people who share the values of the company. So share the overall culture and beliefs of the company, because it's very hard to go into an environment where you're not aligned with the values. Yes. People's yes. values really don't change. So if you care about the environment, look for a company that cares about the environment, just as an example. But you probably can have different abilities and skills mm -hmm. when you hire. And that's really important because... You know, I always take a culture lens and an innovation lens. You can only serve your customers and innovate and do great things in business if you have diversity of opinion, yeah. diversity of thought. Mm -hmm. So have the values aligned? Yes. And the deep rooted beliefs aligned because they probably can't change. But you don't need fit on everything else yeah. because people contribute and they add mm -hmm. extra value. Mm -hmm. So I'm always looking that way in both directions. Yes. Those are great tips because I always feel that a company should not hire mini me's because as you mentioned, there will be no diversity, there's no creativity. But on the other side, sometimes during the interview and during that one hour or 30 minutes interview, they judge the candidate that at the end, they'll, they will say that it was a great interview, but you're not fit. So do you think that the, the, employ, uh, the recruiters or the hiring manager should be maybe more uh, educated about the culture ad or the importance of having different people from different cultures? Yeah, I think so. I think, you know, we are not hiring for fit. We're hiring for contribution. And there's a really important distinction in those. So the more intentional we can be mm -hmm. in that hiring process to say, yes, we need some level of cultural compliance. Mm -hmm. And also we're not looking for 100% fit and alignment with you know, technical skills or abilities, because, you know, again, like I said in, in the previous question, where culture is more important than the strategy is the same when it comes to the cultural compliance and the types of mm -hmm. talents you have. And I always say that great talent is not always the right talent. It's much mm -hmm. better to have somebody who works as a team player than somebody who's a brilliant jerk. Yeah. And that's a really important distinction. Mm -hmm. Those are great tips, Dan. Thank you very much. So for the audience, if you have any other tips, leave them below. And tune in next time for another great question.